Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakela. I create and share delicious vegan recipes. This week's video is a shop along, farmer's market haul, all the good stuff. I really hope that you enjoy it. I'm excited. I haven't been to the farmer's market since we moved, so I'm looking forward to finding one because I always love going to these. So let's go. So normally when I go grocery shopping, I do have a list in mind or a physical list but when I was going to the farmer's market this time, y'all, I was just like, hey, just go enjoy yourself, see what they have available. If anything catches your eye, then just grab it. Okay, y'all, so I just made it to the farmer's market. I'm so excited because there are like so many. Hopefully this isn't too loud. There are like so many little vendors set. Well, let me not say little vendors because they're doing big things. There are so many vendors set up out there. I'm so excited, but I'm about to show y'all everything that I brought with me because you kind of got to prep, like be ready for the farmer's market. I showed y'all, let me turn the car off. There we go. I have my little bag. So a company called Brahmi Bean, well Brahmi, they sent me this little bag. It was like the first one I could grab. So of course I got my phone. I showed y'all, I picked up these, when well, I picked these up, but grabbed these from our pantry. This is for like the produce and stuff like that when I pick it up. So instead of using the bags that they give, I can just use these. I have my wallet as well as some cash because sometimes some vendors don't take cards so I always try to keep cash I got my mask you know as a little just in case I know it is outside so like I don't actually I don't see people wearing masks but if I were to buy something maybe people were like okay if you come up here you have to wear a mask so I wore a mask but I actually got this one I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Henry it's a black owned brand and they make these cute little masks so yeah so grab my mask and then I got some perfume because y'all are always spray perfume <laughs> not a necessity um let's see got my sunscreen so I'll be out here for a minute but I'm using the so it's a super goop okay great there we go so it's a super goop resetting refreshing mist so it's like after you put your sunscreen on in the morning you just spray this again like throughout the day because you're supposed apparently you're supposed to apply sunscreen more than once so that's why I got that spray just in case but yeah so that's all I brought also got some water that I'm gonna grab. But yeah, so let's go shopping at the farmers market. Now doesn't this sound good? Peach mango salsa. I'm gonna have to get that. I really enjoy going to farmers markets for a variety of reasons. First, like they're just so peaceful and like I just feel really good when I shop at one. I don't know why. It just makes me feel happy. Um, but then also like they have so many options of like different type of produce that you can shop for. Um, so typically you can find things that you won't be able to find at a grocery store. Like I know when I used to live in Arkansas, I used to get, I would say the majority of my mushrooms came from the farmer's market. So they have really good seasonal produce. So if you'd like to shop based off of seasonal fruits and vegetables, you can definitely find that there. And then you also know that your food is coming straight from the farm. And then you're able to support like local farmers and um, business owners who are growing and producing this food for you. Didn't quite get to use my little bags, but still enjoying myself. Mushrooms. 
So the place that I just left, sorry, I know this is probably awkward. <laughs> the place that I just left, they do like, what's really cool, they have like these baskets that they give people every week. Um, and it allows them the opportunity to try fresh produce from different farmers. And so I can sign up for this like membership kind of. Um, and then every week you'll get a delivery of fresh produce. It's like, I'm gonna have to try that. Bags are getting full, bags are getting full. So glad that I bought these produce bags like they are just coming in handy I not only have used them at the farmers market but I've also used them when I go grocery shopping at a grocery store as well Y'all, so I bought those bad salts. I actually bought two of them, but they smell so good. Oh, <laughs> I got way more than I expected to get. Like this bag is getting a little heavy, child. It is hot as heck outside. I thought I was gonna go to another place. <laughs> probably not gonna do that and I'll do just like a mini haul because I think I might have picked up some things that y'all didn't actually see so um it's like getting toasty so I need to turn this, this air <laughs> on a sappington um but anyway so yeah I'm about to go pick up Brandon and then we might run and grab some food my little nose just sweating <sighs> all right y'all so I'm back from the farmer's market and I'm just gonna show you every show you guys everything that I got because I'm so excited. Finally went to the farmer's market. I actually have not been to a farmer's market since I moved here. So, so first up I got some Brussels sprouts and I'm really excited about these. I really wanted to get like my fresh produce from the farmer's market. So that's really a lot of what I got. Also got some garlic, which I showed y'all. So I'm hoping that and I don't know exactly what the term is, like when the garlic or even onions start to get like the green on the inside. I don't know what it is, but I feel like y'all may know what I'm talking about. So I'm hoping that uh -oh, by getting this from like directly from the farm, like it hadn't been sitting for a while, that'll help. I also got some lemons which are great because we don't I try to get things that we don't currently have at the house because we have some vegetables just not a bunch I got a bell pepper now I just thought the bell pepper looked amazing like I was like this is just so cute and I told y'all I don't think I got a good one Yuck. why is something always happening to me okay whatever um we got a cucumber which very excited about and then I got this huge onion. Let's see in here, I got some green onion. So got that. Let's see what else I got in here. Here, I got a bunch. 
in here, I have a bunch of potatoes. So I got some red potatoes, which I'm excited to cook with. It's just a bag full. And I don't know why I was so pressed to show y'all potatoes in the bag, but whatever. Um, also got some cabbage, because I want to cook cabbage for the week and just like have that as a prepared side to eat with, whether it be lunch or dinner. I got some fresh herbs. So this is basil. And I'm just opening this up. Mm, it smells so fresh. And I'm just opening it up because these were in the refrigerator when I bought them. And so then they were just like in the car and it was kind of warm. Some fresh parsley. I also got some mint. Ooh, smells so good. So got some fresh mint. I really need to grow these on my own. Um, and I think I got, oh yeah, and I got some rosemary. Ooh, it smells so good. And then uh, I am missing a bag. And I hope it's in the car. Or maybe, yeah, I hope it's in the car. No, I think that's it right here. But I got some kale. So I'm very excited about this. I don't know exactly what type of kale this is, but I needed some. I also got some peach mango salsa. Y'all, this sounds so good. You got like, this sounds off the chain. So I got some peach mango salsa. I got some peanuts. And then I have this one more bag. So I have bought these. I bought some bath salt set, bath salt slash scrubs from this business. So this is the lavender lemongrass. So use this at night, just like, you know, to wind down a little bit. And then this one's very pretty looking. So this is Ascending Mount Everest. This smells like grapefruit. And I was telling her I wanted something that was, well, I wanted two things. One, for like at night when I'm like winding down in the bed. And then two, when the morning comes in, it's like, okay, you want to take a shower, take a bath in the morning. Something that energizes you and wakes you up. So she, she suggests, let me slow down. She suggested the Ascending Mount Everest because it has the grapefruit in there. But yeah, so that's everything that I got from the farmer's market. Of course, going to meal prep for the week with that. But we're about to run and go get some brunch. I'm going to bring you guys with me because I found this super cute place that I'm excited to try. It has vegan and non-vegan items. So we're about to get the best of both worlds. And yeah. Now here we are. Don't let, don't let the lies down, drag you down. Don't has, don't hold back. I'm trying not to. Girl, it's still kind of awkward. No. <laughs> Y'all, and it was so funny. That guy was commenting on the fact that I was vlogging. He was like, do your thing. And I'm like, this is still so awkward. <laughs> I just feel like you, okay. you get avocado toast a lot, and this place actually has a lot of This right? place is super cute. They're playing music in the background, so I'm not gonna be able to talk as much, but I'm like setting this up. But it's so cute, and they had so many vegan options, which I'm very excited for. And they have these like empowered plant cakes. So they have like a twi Twix cake slice and then a key lime slice. So this must be good. It's gotta be Kanye. <laughs> That's so cool. With the tempo on it. Thank you. Listen, if you live in Virginia Beach or you ever visit Virginia Beach, you have got to go to this restaurant. That food, 
it was off the chain. Like I'm still thinking and dreaming about it today. So I got the fried rice. So they used just egg as an egg replacer and then they had like a vegan aioli. They also included some tempeh bacon. And listen, y'all saw those pickled onions. Come on, it's, it was everything. And after brunch, we went to a place called Beachside Social. Y'all, it was so fun. Like, I can't wait for us to go back with a group of people because I can just tell this is going to be a great party spot. But we really, really enjoyed ourselves from getting some great drinks to playing games, just having a little quality time. Y'all, I'm about to beat this man. I'm not a sore loser. No, I was beating Brandon. Why did he undo this thing? I was about to win the game. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, babe. Prove it. <laughs> Why did we have to end the game? Because he don't know how to lose fair and square. So now we're moving to another game. to be ashamed of yourself. That was fun. What you have to say for yourself? Sometimes. Sometimes you what? <laughs> Sometimes I just can't let you win. We are both so competitive. It's it's kind of sickening. Like we hate losing. Crazy. <laughs> I'm turning this off. And so after I finished beating Brandon, we went down to the boardwalk or the ocean front and just walked along the beach. But well, we were kind of on the sidewalk, not in the sand. Um, but anyway, so we went out there. This was actually our first time being this close to the beach, which is crazy because we've been here for several months now. Um, but immediately after we walked the beach or sidewalk, <laughs> we went and grabbed some coffee from one of the local coffee shops. girl was on a mission today. I can't believe I did all of this. But if you're still here, I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next week.